hat, sunglasses, Pepsi, notes, sources, thick skin, check. You already know. Let's go. Golden Blooded is a college football YouTube channel for entertainment. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And let's get into our next college football video. After getting used to blowouts and, and, and games that were not competitive in the playoffs, and, and even the start of yesterday, a couple of blowouts, Alabama blew out Kansas State and Iowa blew out Kentucky, I, I think all of us were expecting two blowouts in the playoffs. I think most of us were expecting Michigan to blow out TCU. And a lot of people thought that Georgia was going to blow out Ohio State. I actually thought that Georgia and Ohio State was going to be a close game, and that's exactly what happened. Michigan and TCU, no, that was not a blowout. In fact, TCU beats Michigan, and it was crazy. I watched the Fiesta Bowl and the Peach Bowl, and there towards the end, whenever Michigan fans realized that, hey, we're not winning this game, they actually started booing Jim Harbaugh. What are, what are you thinking? I understand that that's a letdown loss you expected to beat TCU uh, pretty convincingly. Even I expected that. I understand that. But still, you finished the regular season undefeated. You won the Big Ten Championship, and you got to the playoffs. And it's not like TCU blew you out. That, there was no, that, was, that was wrong. I'm sorry, Michigan fans. That was wrong. It makes no sense. You're a spoiled fan base, and you're just mad that you lost to TCU. But what about TCU? Everybody counted them out. Everybody was saying, Alabama deserves to be in the playoffs over TCU. I, I guess TCU proved y'all wrong because they, they flat out just beat Michigan. Uh, okay, we, we hear you, Alabama fans. Uh, now let's go take care of business. So, yes, I think TCU proved that they most certainly deserve to be in the playoffs over Alabama because Alabama fans were saying, yeah, we blew out Kansas State. Kansas State beat TCU. Ergo, we're the better team. We should be in the playoffs. I don't want to hear that argument anymore. Great win, TCU. I was not even expecting that. And I was saying that TCU deserved to be in the playoffs. I just thought Michigan was a much better team. Then there was the Ohio State-Georgia game. Wow, what a game. Ohio State jumps off to a 21-7 lead. Georgia comes roaring back to take the lead right before halftime. But then Ohio State scores right before halftime to take the lead right back. And in the second half, Ohio State stretches the lead again. And Georgia battles back again. And then Ohio State has a chance to win the game with a 50-yard field goal, and they miss. What a heartbreaking loss for Ohio State. You know, I, I, I made a video yesterday and, and several videos uh, the days before that game that Ohio State didn't earn their way into the playoffs. I, I told everybody, even if Ohio State beat Georgia, even if Ohio State won the national championship, they didn't deserve, they didn't earn their way into the playoffs. I, I, I'm sticking with that. That was a great game. Ohio State played a good game. They played good enough to win. Georgia was just just that much better. Just that much better. But I'm telling you, uh, going, I, I'm sticking with my arguments. Ohio State backdoored their way into the playoffs. They didn't even win their own division. So no, I do not think that Ohio State earned their way into the playoffs in spite of giving Georgia a big fat fight. And I knew I knew that game was going to be close. I looked at the matchups beforehand and I made a video on it didn't get to release it because I ran out of time but I promise you I made a prediction video on it I just I never put it out I, I, I was very very busy but I expected that game to be really really close uh, but that, that doesn't mean that Ohio State still deserved to be in just means they were competitive they were ready to play Georgia but as far as earning their way in no I, I'm sticking to it they didn't earn their way in and eh. It couldn't happen to a nicer fan base as far as Georgia goes, right? They're, they're the nicest fan base you'll ever meet. Won a national championship last year. Uh, hashtag 1980 before that. Endured a lot of hardship. Couldn't have happened to a nicer fan base. Let me tell you something. The Georgia fan base has been insufferable for 365 days. An entire year. They have been insufferable. And they're one game away from being insufferable for another 300 and 65 days. My gosh, they have come out of the woodworks and, and acting like Georgia has won 10 straight national championships. They're on the same level as Alabama. Hey, they might be taking the torch from Alabama. We might be witnessing the passing of the torch. But this is only national championship number two. If you do win the national championship, you still have a long ways to go. 
before you're on the same level as Alabama. And I think most of us are thinking that Alabama will be back next year. I mean, even in a letdown year this year, they, they still had an 11-win season uh, with the bowl win over Kansas State. That's still a pretty good year, even in a letdown year. I, I, w I wish West Virginia was like that. Oh, man. <sighs> we, we had a rough year, guys. Only 11 wins. Hopefully, we get back to, you know, what we can do, and that's winning national championships. Wouldn't that be nice to be uh, a member of a fan base who had to worry about a letdown year as far as 11 wins? That would, that would be something. The Alabama fan base is most definitely spoiled. They have long forgotten about the 20 years in between 1992 and when Nick Saban got to Alabama. That's all in the past. It's almost like it didn't even exist. Didn't even exist. Well, Georgia looks like they're headed in that direction as well. Uh, they very well could win two national championships in a row. I didn't think that they were going to win back-to-back. -back. I knew that they weren't going to have the elite defense that, that what they had last year as far as historically goes. They still have pretty good defense this year. Really, really good defense. But last year's was historic, and I knew they were going to take a step back from that. But here we are again. Same old story as far as recently goes. Georgia in the national championship, but uh, a different face, a different opponent. TCU. Uh, TCU should not be in the national championship, according to pretty much everybody, including myself. I had Michigan blowing out TCU in, in that playoff game. But here we are. They're in the national championship. Does TCU stand a chance against Georgia? Listen, the moment, the moment that TCU beat Michigan, people were saying doesn't matter who wins between Georgia and Ohio State, even though everybody was expecting Georgia to blow out Ohio State. Everybody expects expects TCU to lose in the national championship. Even yours truly, me, I, I, I don't have a lot of confidence in TCU winning the national championship. It's been a very long time since they won a national championship. Georgia just won it last year. They've been to the mountaintop. They, they're used to the pressure by now. So this is nothing new to Georgia. Last year was the newness. Now, they had been to the playoffs before. They had been to the national championship before. But they hadn't won a national championship since 1980. So the pressure was on Georgia, and they answered the bell last year. Can TCU do it this year? Remember the conversation that we were having last year before the national championship? Everybody was expecting Alabama to beat Georgia because Alabama beat Georgia in the SEC championship, and everybody was like, Georgia, Georgia just can't get over the Alabama hump. It just, it's not going to happen. What happened? Georgia proved most people wrong. Not me. I expected Georgia to run the playoffs and win the national championship. I knew that that SEC championship didn't make any sense whatsoever because Georgia ran over everybody in the regular season. So that SEC championship game didn't make any sense whatsoever. I was not surprised that Georgia breezed through the playoffs and beat Alabama in the national championship. But most people were saying Georgia's not going to get over the Alabama hump. Well, now, now it's kind of the, the roles are reversed. Everybody's expecting, expecting Georgia to win this national championship. And TCU doesn't have a chance. I am one of those people that I, I don't have a lot of hope in TCU. Well, you know what? I, let me rephrase that. I don't have a lot of confidence in TCU to beat Georgia. But I'm hoping that they do beat Georgia. What a story that would be. You talking about being wrong. I'm wrong sometimes. But if TCU wins the national championship, I would, that would be the wrongest I have ever been as far as college football goes in my entire life. I predicted TCU to be at the bottom of the barrel, possibly finish last in the Big 12, and not make a bowl. What are they doing? They finished the regular season undefeated. Yes, they lost in the Big 12 championship. They beat a Michigan team that nobody thought that they would beat. And now they're in the national championship against Georgia. If TCU wins the national championship, that, that's the direct opposite of what I predicted for TCU. You can't be any more wrong than that. You know what? I'm hoping they do it. I'm hoping that I am completely and utterly wrong. That would be an amazing story, and that would just prove just how crazy this college football season has, has gone. This has been one of the craziest, one of the, one of the weirdest college football seasons I have ever seen in my entire life. And the cherry on top would be TCU beating Georgia in the national championship. And that would be hilarious. Uh, Georgia fans would disappear there for a while. 
losing in the national championship. Not just losing in the national championship. There's no shame in that. But Georgia expects to beat TCU. That would be a humbling experience for Georgia if they were to lose to TCU in the national championship. So y'all let me know in the comments section which one of these games did you like the most? Which one surprised you the most? And are you giving TCU any shot whatsoever of beating Georgia in the national championship? That's all I got for you this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.